As a musician, I think it's very important to be connecting on a human level through music. For an orchestra to thrive in the 21st century, we need to be immersed in the community. I definitely want this project to kind of inform the way I go forward with my life as a musician. This has definitely changed me. The Irene Taylor Trust is an organisation which works with vulnerable and marginalised individuals and helps them develop by um, offering them the opportunity to write their own music. The basis of the work that we do is songwriting, so it is about taking anybody and it's about drawing out what they want to say in their song. In 2012, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra Association wanted to do work in the juvenile justice system here in Chicago. So we reached out to the Irene Taylor Trust because we knew that they had years of experience working through musical projects that really uplift and transform the participant. Over the years, we've collaborated with them to develop songwriting projects in juvenile prisons, in detention centers. We've worked with them to create songs with teen parents. We believe that everybody has a song inside them, and our musicians, when they go to work with these various community groups, are really good at getting these ideas out and helping people create their own songs. What we try to do is focus on what it is that's going to paint the picture. So we're looking for the things that really make it about the person that we're writing the song about. When we decided that we wanted to work with families who have lost loved ones to gun violence, we wanted to involve our civic fellows from the civic orchestra in the process of actually writing the songs. And we knew that in order to do that, they required training. This is so hard. Yeah. We devised a series of training workshops which would take people on the journey from how you start to create a song to how you have created that song. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Excellent. Fantastic. The hope is that once we're not here, we now have 14 musicians who have an understanding of what they can do with this kind of work. I have not done anything like this before, so it's a totally new experience for me. We're going to have a challenge that we don't usually deal with, which is trying to create something and be productive when we're dealing with some of the most serious material you can possibly imagine. But Rex and Sara are experts at songwriting and two of the kindest people I've ever met. They bring exceptional musicianship and tremendous empathy to all of the work that they do. And over two and a half days, they train the fellows to sit with a parent and hear their story and to convert that story into lyrics and melody and harmony and to orchestrate a song of tribute to a loved one that they've lost to gun violence. Today was wonderful. The song that I helped compose, it came out marvelous. It really had that feeling to me as if my son was right here, you know, rooting me on. To write a song about someone who has been lost, their time cut short, to write the song for their families, to hopefully help in some kind of healing, is just the most important thing I think I've ever done as a musician. Sarah and Rex did an amazing amount of preparation for us. There's zero chance we would have been able to get through this process without their wise words and without that workshop. This couldn't have happened. I didn't think that I could come up with a melody or write a song, but this workshop has really shown me that I can do for myself and for other people. In any situation in the future or in another context, I think that having these skills now, I could start another project. The programming that we've created in collaboration with the Irene Taylor Trust is some of the work that I'm most proud of that this organization does.